Hello everyone, today in series of Doclex SQL interviews, we have with us Dr. Minish Jain, Director of Medical Oncology at Ruby Hall Clinic, Pune. Thank you Dr. Minish for this interview. Our today's topic of discussion is Personalized Medicine in Colon Cancer. So let us proceed with the questions. Dr. Minish, is colon cancer a result of urbanization? Yeah, to some extent, yes. Lifestyles, basically high BMI, low physical activity, smoking, alcohol, eating red meat, a lot of factors. In fact, some of the implications are low vitamin D who produces a poor result. And then there are things like even fermented versus non-fermented milk. Fermented milk is better. So basically, buttermilk, what we call, contains kefir which can reduce down the risk of cancer. So there are many aspects. So it's basically a lifestyle and WHO quotes that by 2030 youngsters basically between age of 20 to 34 there will be a 90 to 124 per percent increase in colon cancer. So it's all part of what we are doing. We are having more of sedentary lifestyle, less of physical activity, more of watching TV, eating more junk, increased in diabetes, taking more insulin. These are all part and parcel which is increasing this cancer. In fact, it is one of the fourth cancers in the world and second cause of cancer deaths in America. So you can and we are not far away from America. So if you are looking at similar kind of lifestyle and similar kind of food style, then we are almost heading to this. Okay. So we really need to note these points. Okay. So doctor, can you please shed some light into the importance of molecule profiling in guiding clinical decisions? See, basically you must do MSI for all the patients. MSI basically is the simplest way to look at Lynch syndrome. Lynch syndrome is an hereditary cancer which is around 5% in colon cancer. Youngsters who are less than 50 and if they get colon cancer, you must do an MSI. If MSI is not having a mutation, then you can safely forgive or not do the germline mutation. If you find an MLH1 mutation, then you have to do a BRAF. If the BRAF is mutated, then that also can be given up as a germline, not a germline mutation. Okay. It can be a somatic mutation. So what we try and do is we do a simplest thing, MSI, and for advanced malignancy, uh, like if the patient has got metastatic disease, then we do a different kind of profiling. We do KRAS, NRAS, BRAF, MSI. Okay. Now, in early stages of colon cancer, MSI also helps you like if it is T3N0, you want an MSI. If MSI is high, that is Lynch, you do not have to give chemotherapy. And if it is MSI low or stable, you need to give chemotherapy in early. In high, uh, in a metastatic setting, it helps you to decide about your immunotherapy. And KRAS and RAS helps you to decide on cetuximab, panitumumab or whether you want to use bevacizumab. So basically in colon cancer there are molecular profiling, personalized profiling in the sense whether these are right sided tumors, left sided tumors, female, peritoneal disease, non peritoneal disease. So there is a, a lot of things are decided based on this and you tend to choose chemotherapies based on this. Okay, so doctor coming on to the next question, how understanding mutations at exons and its resistance to therapy has to more precision based approach? Uh, as, as I said that you know if it is a wild type KRAS and NRAS and a BRAF is non mutated then obviously you are going to use either cetuximab or panitumumab along with your chemotherapy. If it is any of these mutations then you can use bevacizumab with chemotherapy. Once a person fails onto this, then MSI comes in play. MSI is like if, if they have failed the targeted therapies like fall fox and fall peri with or without targeted therapy, then you go on to MSI. If MSI is high, then you go on to immunotherapy. Now immunotherapy will be either only PD, PDL1 blockers or with CTLA4 blockers, epilopimab, along with nivolumab or you can have uh, pembrolizumab. 
And if these are also MSI low, then you have drugs like regorafenib. So, Dr. Manish, our viewers would like to know the guidelines in terms of selecting the patient population for the recommended first-line therapies for management of colon cancer. Uh, generally, what we do is if a patient comes to us, we would first try and figure out this kind of things. Like if the patient has never seen chemotherapy, then oxaliblatin based like m would be our choice. Okay. Plus minus targeted therapy depending upon the KRAS, NRAS or if it is supposing you have a right sided tumors, more likely that bevacizumab would be your choice. Left sided tumors with KRAS, NRAS, cetuximab or panitumumab will be your choice along with chemotherapy. If the patient has already failed oxaliplatin, then irinotecan based regimens like falferi. And for patients who are extremely fit, you may use even a combo that is falfexiri. So, you, you can use a combination, but these are very aggressive and they should be restricted to extremely fit and motivated patients. So, they should not be used for everybody. Okay, right doctor. So, what key message would you like to share with Docplex's community? Colon cancer, as we know, is a, a lifestyle disease and we should be all the time uh, looking at these particular things, increase exercise, reduce BMI, reduce smoking, alcohol, reduce junks like and uh, reduce red meat, reduce uh, whatever like you can increase your vitamin D by going in sun, doing more physical activity. Taking aspirin after age of 40 also has reduced uh, colorectal cancer risk. So, if you are suggested for an aspirin, go for it. So, these are few things which I would suggest and when I mean by exercise, walking should not be considered exercise. That is a myth in our community that people walk and they think that they are doing exercise. It should be moderate intensity exercise of 30 minutes average per day. Okay, doctor. So, it was really a great message to our community. So, that was all for the interview. Thank you, Dr. Manish, for this interview. We are sure our community will gain a lot of insights from this discussion. Thank you. Thank you so much, doctor.